Hey guys, it's Delight and Kaylee here with Freddy Girls. We're happy to be back today to use our DIY paints on a few projects. Here we go. Good morning. So I'm just working on, uh, I have some things that were done up in, I think it's turning out to nice. be my favorite color. It's um, the good old DIY weathered wood. And my favorite color is Apothecary. That's what I'm gonna be using okay. today. So weathered wood, when you put it on, it doesn't look like much, really. It's just kind of but a... But it doesn't even look like weathered well, wood. What does weathered wood look like? Well, you wait and see. No, but I mean, like, what does real weathered wood look like? Kind of a gray, whitey, whatever. Yeah. You know? But, uh, so what I'm going to be doing, I've, these are already painted in weathered wood. This is also in weathered wood, a little pedestal bowl. And uh, I'm going to be doing the magic part putting on the white wax over top of weathered wood, which gives it a really weathered wood look. And it, to me, it's one of the fa my favorite colors that I've, I'm having so much fun today with all these colors. Oh yeah. my goodness. We ordered how many colors? About seven or? Oh no, no, more than more that. More than that, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I'd say I'm 15 colors. So, oh yeah, um, we, yeah, we haven't tried yeah. all of them quite yet. No, no. I was trying to convince mom to let me open a new color today. <laughs> Well, but I lost the battle. Well, we got to yeah. No, I, you know what I'm finding? These paint cans, they go on and on and on. I can't use the paint up. I have painted so much weathered wood stuff, and it's just like I've hardly made a dent. It's incredible. We should have ordered the small yeah, size cans. Yeah, we got cans. the, what are, oh, I got some We've like ordered the ounces. six, yeah. Next time we're going to, the new order is going to have the small cans in it. Yeah, but uh, live and learn. Yeah, well, that's a good learn. problem to have to know this paint does last forever. Yeah. I guess if you were doing like furniture pieces, yes, then it would then, go. Yeah. yeah, it would go. Like if I can see a, a couple of friends maybe even getting a couple of cans and then taking some glass jars and and uh, sharing it with each other. You know, if you oh yeah, if you're just doing smaller projects. We're talking about we were talking about uh, hosting our first class. Yeah, we've had a request yeah. for a class. We've so. had a request, so yeah. we're very excited about that. So let us know if you want a class. Yeah, if you want a class, we'll just sit we you around the dining room table. More and More than happy. So I think what we're going to do at this first class is we're going to, you will have free run of all the products. You can use whatever colors you want yeah, and waxes, waxes whatever yes. color waxes you want. Um, and we'll just charge a flat rate and we'll supply you with uh, three three projects, three different types of projects that you could do. Yeah, similar to the things uh, we've been doing. I don't know if you saw our... Oh, you should take an emulator and show them my... Your room there? Yeah. yeah. That her. we're getting ready when we go to our first time at MCC on the 11th of September. And so I want to so, have some finished products to show what you can do with thrift store junk. Yeah. And okay, so here's this is full of wax. And now I'm going to do the magic and kind of wipe it off. But it'll stay in the low spots. I'll wipe off the high spots. This was cast iron. You can use this paint. That's what I'm finding is so fun on anything. Cast iron. Uh, Metal, wood. She's got some kind of plasticky resin. Glass. That ju that the jug that jug is glass, glass eh? yeah. and it, it just sticks to anything. And you know, once it's cured for a bit, your it'll never come off. Yeah. So these are little stocking I was to put on your mantle. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Yeah. With the weathered wood. I'll show them close. Up. I was teasing mom. She's a uh, retired teacher so that's what she blames it on just being like over prepared and having lots and lots of projects but uh yeah if i show you guys the room of everything she did well it's nothing She's worse old. than walking was, into a room of people and not being prepared yeah i was teasing her i remembered when i was a kid i had this birthday party and we were redoing these little um teddy bears and it was i don't know it was a really fun birthday party and she'd gone to the because at that time we were in the country and there was really only the goodwill mm -hmm. and so she'd gone there and gotten these uh should i paint inside this thing or i would say just for a like few inches off. down like if you can where you would see yeah. it. Yeah. And she'd gotten these bags of old jewelry and stuff and I just remember there being like mountains of supplies. 
to choose from. So when we do classes, I think it'll be the same way, guys. You won't be disappointed. No, there you'll be have lots of Not options. with Mama part of it. There'll be mountains well, of supplies. I, you know, when I was teaching in the jail, my last, my last and final job, I had to be super prepared because I didn't have one classroom where everybody came to. I went to the classrooms on the unit, so I had my cart and I had to have everything on it. And if you got there and were missing something, like, oh, yeah. out of luck. So I had to always thought through everything really good. What am I going to be using today? Yeah. Well, I pretty much got a coat on both of these guys. Oh, I think these are adorable. These were like green and red and like, you know, the traditional kind of Christmas colors. But here we've given them an update. Here's good old St. Nick. And they're heavy. Oh, like they can, they can last. They can uh, sit on your... Yeah, these are cute. Did you show them up close before you wax them? Or, no. yeah. Here, here's here's one that's not waxed. Show them that one. Nice. I'm, using one. You, I'm only using one hand because the others are so yeah no wax and wax it's, I, it, it's, I call it's it magic this is with the weathered wood and the white wax yeah yeah it is magic it is a really i like this combination a lot is this a good ready i hope not that's a norway oh no yeah that's norway no this is not norway. okay yeah then you can use it <laughs> I guard my Norwex rags. She guarded them her whole life. I lived with her for a while, quite a while, and I did not know about them until I got married, and then she like gave me one for a wedding present. And said, guard it. Yeah. I was like, you could have told me about this sooner. What, you want to paint this thing too, right? Yeah. What color do you want to paint it? I don't know, weathered wood? Sure. You, I we've got... look nice on weathered wood. We, oh, I brought out the uh, gray one too, but no. I, Which gray one? The gravel road. It's quite light. Gravel okay. road is quite light. So I'll use this brush. Yeah. We got some half decent brushes this time. No yeah. more kindergarten really, class <laughs> edition. I was really. I got it. Oh, your leather wood is your favorite. I love it? it. It's my one this Yeah. This um, we got some of the nice good brushes. Like one is natural and one is synthetic. But they were on a really oh, good. And they have like tons of them. I'm gonna go back and get more. They had them in, uh, where did I say they got them? Oh, the, that place. Oh, the refit the re store. Yeah. Like, they must have got a shipment of people, some paint store that went out of business or something. So yeah, you should stock, yeah, she'll stock up so that when we do our classes, we won't have crappy <laughs> brushes. I have my own good brushes, but not enough of them. So, no. You know, it's time to invest in no. a few more. Yeah. So, yeah, I like this. I really think these are cute. There's the Christmas tree. So we've got three of these cast iron stocking stuffers that can, uh, or not, st stocking hangers. Oh yeah, uh, stocking hangers, they go in the mouth. Those are beautiful. Yeah, they so really are. So that was about, you have to pretty well give things two coats you're finding? Yeah, I, you know what I've been finding? Two. I, like a, a, I call it a coat and a half. Okay. On most things, like one good coat on a darker color like well, that. Well, this one for sure. But if I was easy. putting white on that, yeah, you'd then it more. would be a different story. But yeah, one good coat and then one to kind of go and touch it up. Okay, so let's we're gonna put some uh, white wax on this little, on this little, what do you call it? Pedestal? Pedestal, pedestal bowl. It has a glass cloche that I'm going to put on top of it. So yeah. Oh, this will be like show a French them the glass. Country. Where's your glass cloche? <laughs> it's in the I other was room. teasing her on that. Too. Oh wait, let me finish it first, then oh, we can show me. It. I could put a different cloche this on. One, is it this one? No. Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah. I have. I. It's it, just that one better. It might She's, be too tall. For it's kind of unique. I said it might be yeah. unstable. I think we'll get a, a light, a small one. <laughs> I like oh, my cloches. Dear. Yeah, you do. Whenever I see one, I grab it. So I wonder if no, this isn't dry yet. These ones. No, you can take the hair dryer to. You yeah, could do some do some aviary on uh, these. Aviary is a really okay. nice green. I just really I have like. Wash my you know, out. Aviary is almost my no. I my second favorite would probably be farm I fresh. I yes, I do. Or you know. Oh, do that. Okay. Yes, Let me use the lighter one. Or, whatever. or grab a different one there. There's another brush in the sink. One of these? 
No, no, that, the one that's facing down. Yeah, that one. All right. Yeah, getting ready for Christmas time. Yeah, I can't wait. I got pains all over me. Does this stuff wash out of your clothes? You know what? I haven't tried it on clothes, but it washes off like everything so easy. Like I'm sure it would all clothes, like rags, uh, like my hands, like that Asian mineral that I've been using. Where's the aviary? Is, is um so hard to get off. I have to have special cleaners. But this stuff, because it's water soluble. It does wash off easily. I was kind of laughing at myself because I was getting dressed this morning. Um, I'm kind of known for making messes. <laughs> yes. Whether I'm cooking or baking or painting, it seems like uh, the more fun I have, the bigger mess there is. So I was kind of laughing at myself because I wore nice clothes. But so did you. Did you? You make... wore white pants. Oh, well, I, I've been out and about this morning well, already. Yeah. So. I was dressed, but you know, I just didn't change. I wasn't sure what time you were going to come. So. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was up early. I was up at 6.30 this morning. So early. I can't even get up that early on a weekday. I know. But you know what? I thought when I retired, oh, I'm going to sleep in. It's going to be so great. I never am able to sleep past 6.30. It's just... Really? No. We're, I just Maybe the way it's it winter is. time. But sometimes, if I, it doesn't happen that often, but I always say, oh, if I... I feel like that I can have an afternoon nap. <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but yeah. just knowing you can is nice. I guess so. Yeah. I just never liked naps. No, I know, but you're not my age. I I no, but you used to like. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, afternoons used to be scary for me. I know. I napped when you guys when you were a kid. I don't understand. I remember that. that. I, I used, used to be terrified. I had <laughs> And then I completely stopped. I must have been. Should a I do? Yeah, I'll do the whole thing. I must have been bored or something. I think I don't you know. were. I think I was. I too. mean, you had your projects and that. Yeah. And then I but got working again and forgot about napping. <laughs> well, Sunday afternoons were always kind of. This was made in Canada. Yeah, I noticed that. We're too. always kind of reserved for napping. Yeah. And now that doesn't happen very much either. It's yeah. funny. You get old and you don't sleep as much, I guess. I guess not. How's that going? I like it. See, like on the on the wood, it just gives it that weathered. It, it really becomes weathered when yeah. you put the wax on it. So that's the white wax. You haven't, there is a black wax. There too. is a black wax. You haven't done as much with the black no. wax. You, you know think? why I think I was thinking about this. Why am I not drawn to the black wax? Why am I going with the white wax? I your think heart it, is no. I remind me of like you know you weren't there, but in the seventies everybody was doing all this antiquing on furniture and putting these dark waxes in the corners and and I think maybe I'm just still rebelling against that. Uh -huh. Well, what, the what white wax it, is fresh, it's brighter. What would it look like black with black wax? I don't think it would you do much at all. You wouldn't see anything? No, not much at all. Not see anything. Okay. So there you have it, folks. Yeah, I think we might. I like this. I, I, don't, like think I'll, I don't think we'll get a chance to do uh, And I do think this is too tall, but there you have it. I don't think I'll get a chance to do two coats on these for the video. Maybe I'll do them afterwards you know, and kind of show you guys. But that's one coat. Probably it needs, what, 20 minutes? This is getting close to being ready. I can go and dry that for you. Uh, I think it's okay. We okay. Just, but, yeah. Okay, now this tray that she's just done is was a metal tray. And the reason I liked it so much is because it's got embossed um christmas designs like uh what do you call those things like, like little, an acorn or uh, not an acorn uh, what do you call that? oh those are from the trees yeah the, like uh, not acorn <laughs> we're both getting pine 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 yeah. and they're really cute with a little kind of a christmasy thing around them so i thought those will be really nice when we um put the white wax on because those will stick out then they'll stand out from the green but that might need three coats of that. Yeah, that might tell. need a couple of coats. These are, oh, what's yeah. that? Pat Preston's brush. The Which one? Oh, Which here, one? the aviary. 
Yeah. yeah, these, when you get, again, with the white wax, they'll be really pretty. And this is starting to dry. Now, when the black, when the paint goes on, it's much, much darker. But there are a few little spots here where I can see it's starting to lighten up. And the paint dries, like in normal paint, when you're working with, um, um, what do you call the regular? Like the diffused mineral paints? Yeah, but, or, um, oh, oh, like not chalk paints? No, well, yeah, any paint that's not latex. That's what I'm looking for. When you're d working with latex paint, it usually dries darker than what it what it goes on as. Whereas, well, this is drying lighter. Yeah, yeah. whereas the these clay based let me show them. Paints dry oh, lighter. You can see on top they're starting to dry lighter. Yeah, it is drying much lighter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well that's good. And then like if if we didn't finish it with the white wax, we could finish it with clear wax just to give it a coat, just to protect it. Or we could put uh, where's the big top? I think oh it's over here. Oh yeah. I mean you could just any kind of water-based top coat. This is the one from DIY. It's called Big Top and I really like it. it the, it's non-yellowing. It'll make every, if you put something over white, sometimes great. white will yellow after a while. This does not and it dries solid in 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to use this. You can use any kind of, yeah. any kind of white or any kind of top coat. Well, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. We hope that you have been enjoying our video, so like and subscribe. We've now started an Instagram page too, Fridays underscore girls, and we are coming to MCC on Chalmers on September 11th and 25th. So we'll be doing live demos there and we'll have the products for sale and uh, yeah, I think that's all, folks. And right? if you'd like to have a class, if you've got some friends you'd like to get together and you'd like to have a class, let us know and we'd be we'd love to host you around our dining room table here. Have a great day. Bye, Bye for now.